What's up everyone? I'm gonna give you guys an update on how the babies are doing. There's been a hawk hanging out around here. They recently killed one of my roosters the other day and the past couple days it's been chasing my pigeons. I'm not too worried because like I said my birds are really healthy so most likely they can outrun the hawk. So we'll see if I let them out today. If I do, good luck. If I don't, they get to live another day. I did get a couple more birds. I only have one in here that is new. It's this blue bar right here. He's from the same family as, as the secret stuff that I'm gonna fly next year. So as you can see, he looks very similar to the silver check right here and the blue check over here. If I could get better footage of him. I'm pretty sure they're, they might be full brothers. Just not born at the same time, but same mom and same dad. But this blue check right here. And this blue bar over here. The blue bar is the new guy. I've had this blue check for a few weeks now. As you can see they have the very similar body type. Sorry if I don't get the best footage. But as you can see from their bodies they look really similar. The only thing in here that's not from the same family is the red one. The red one is totally something else. I have no background information on him. He's the guy that I got for five bucks from a pigeon racer that flies homers, but he had this guy flying with his birds too. I'll probably let this red one out in a few weeks. Hopefully it doesn't fly away and hopefully it stays around. I just want to see if it performs or not. He's slightly bigger than all my other birds. Although I do have birds that are similar to his size. But we'll see in a few weeks if he flies and if he stays around. So here's one of the new pairs I just got too. These are also down from the same stuff as my secret stuff. As you can see these two are really colorful. The hen is this silver bar right here. The cock is this red grizzle. I originally wasn't trying to pair them up together but as soon as I threw them up together they just ended up mating so I guess I'm just gonna leave them together and see what they could produce for me. I was told the mom of the hen is a really good performer and is a really good producer so I have high hopes for this pair. So if I can't breed them this year hopefully I can breed them next year. So here's the ruby stuff. They're doing super good. As you can see, they're super big now. They're almost the size of my palm. I'll probably be banning them in maybe three or four days. But these are doing much better than the birds that I bred earlier in the year. 
as you can see the Higgins stuff is doing really good too. They're just slightly smaller than the Ruby stuff because like I said they were maybe one or two days apart. But they should be about the same size as the Ruby stuff tomorrow. And the Ruby stuff is going to be bigger than what they were today. But they're doing great. The parents are doing a very good job. Look forward to these babies growing up and flying them. So it's only been a few days but I'm going to take my chance and try to home this Turner bird. Still young enough where I don't think it's just going to take off. It seems like it feels pretty comfortable so I'm going to let out every day and hopefully it doesn't fly away. And hopefully the BOP don't come and take this bird because this is the only real colorful bird that I have in my loft right now. So we will see what happens. It's a nice cooler day so the birds are doing really really good in the air right now. So most of these in the cage are breeders. I'm not going to fly any of them. I'm just putting them outside just in case the worst happens and they somehow get out. And hopefully if they do ever get out they don't fly away. So I'm just trying to get them familiar with the area. But no I will not be flying these breeders. They are just sitting out here just so they can kind of get familiar familiar with the area just in case they accidentally get out. Y'all probably didn't see it but Mr. Roll Down rolled down again so I just put that bird into the garage and probably going to cull it later today. I just cleaned the loft the other day and now the feathers everywhere again so gonna have to do another loft clean but probably gonna wait a few more weeks. I added a few more perches down here just because I added a few birds. Looks like they're starting to use them but we'll see in a few days here. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll try to come up with some better content next time but it for now if you have any suggestions for me leave it in the comments thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out next time